Now the worm. I was trying that grande bass. Hey, dude, that's a beautiful color, little guy. He's got a little pot belly. Nah, he's a little smaller than 17, but he's got a little pot belly on him. Morning, guys. Manny B with the Skinny Water Boys here. Out with I Snag TV, Albert himself, freaking Brandon, uh, winner of River Bassin, Lone Star River Riders. Out here get, trying to get on some freaking Texas Largies. I'm throwing a uh, Grande Bass 8 inch worm. Never thrown them before in my life. Trying something new. And then I got the jig tied on as well. Trusty jig, you can't go wrong. First time you gotta wear waders though this season. It's kind of, it's freaking cold, it's in the 40s. You northern guys are probably like, y'all are put what's this? Shoot, if y'all live in Texas, old son, you know what I'm talking about. Gotta make this tree. Oh! I made it, boy. First time of the season we gotta wear waders. It is chilly. Water's chilly, it's like 45 degrees right now. Let's see if we got some good ones. Stay tuned, I already caught one so far. Oh no, it looks rideable. Yeah, Just stay, stay to the left. Right, left. left. Look at this freaking water. I've never seen it this color. This is insane. Look at all those axes crossing the river. Yep. Code. Hey. Ah. Little guy. That's a for show. God, this is freaking cold. Look how red my hands are. Damn, dude. Hey, Dink City. Go down the middle if you can cut across this way. Oh, 
Porra! Oh, yeah. Cold. Oh, wait, what happened? I hooked him sideways. Or oh, it's through under his gill. Huh. Yeah. Damn, how did I do that? Dude, I hooked him underneath his mouth. A nicer one. I've never hooked a fish like that. Oh yeah. He's a little bit. He's about the same size. I set it out like a mile. Come here, baby. I think it's gorgeous. Maybe. I told her to push down here, probably. Yeah, that's the only one here. Look at that sun go. Is that shad that went by you? Is that a cat? Dude, that was a big ass shad right there. You saw them, right? Ah. Hey, look how beat up he is, though. I know, right? That's what happens. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Oh, turn it off? No. Okay. Oh, there's a waterfall. Like a little dam, we have to go down. We're probably rideable now. Did you see all that trees in the way? I'm gonna try to go with that. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh! <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh! Yeah, yeah.
I'm just gonna get back in. Hey, where my rods go? Alright. Uh, hey! You see my rods? You see my rods? Both my rods came off. Both of them? Yeah. I didn't even look. I thought you had them. I thought I did too. So I hit that, I flipped. That what is that? I don't know that How deep is it right there? Hey, Abby, you're welcome. I gotta get up here. Ooh, I can't. I'm gonna walk on this side. I don't gotta be here. Yeah, I need to go on that side to see. Oh! Hey, now you can see what I mean, how you can feel the temperature. Alright walk, right, guys, so on this first rapid that I decided to uh, just send it at the last minute, you don't want to do that. If you're gonna do it, do it ahead of time, especially if you're in a boat like mine. Mine specifically isn't made for bombing rapids and you know fast currents, because it's 14 foot long, it's a Jackson Cuda. I mean, you can do it, you know, uh, I can do it for sure. It's just, you gotta be uh, a couple steps ahead of everybody else when it comes to this certain situation. I mean, if you're in a 10 foot kayak, uh, river boat 12 foot you can you know make adjustments like this on the fly and make cut across the river uh, no problem but when you're in something like this you don't want to try this I mean you can but you might end up like me rolling the kayak flipping out lost both the rods that I uh, actually Brandon found the one of them what I should have done is I should have just got out like I was originally planning on it but I kind of didn't want to get out I was kind of just being lazy and that, that's where it hurt me. That kind of stuff can hurt you out there on the river. So be smart, think ahead, unless you're you know, feeling ballsy and you just want to send it. But this time of the year is not the best time to be doing that because it is cold. And especially, it's like if it was below 50, if it was even colder, you could you know potentially get hypothermia. Uh, if you're out there on a long, long river trip, no extra dry clothes. Keep watching guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys, on this one, I gotta say, this one I thought I was like 110% sure I could have made it. However, in this long boat, the front end shoots off just straight, and then it goes slams down. And then when it slams down, the, the tail end, it twists. So it twists me on these rocks. And it wasn't just like a straight, you know, slide where I 
boom, boom, good to go. It was a kind of a steeper drop. If it was a gradual drop, I would have definitely like, you know, 100% landed it. Yeah, so I just, you know, I was like, I got this. Tell the guys, watch. Watch and learn, boys. <laughs> you know, in a, in a freaking big old kayak like that, definitely don't recommend doing this. I still did it anyways. And sure enough, I flipped. I strapped everything down this time. Didn't lose anything on this flip, even though I already lost one rod. Still sucked. This time though, when I fell in, I fell in, a, it was in deeper water. The first one wasn't deep, deep. You know, it was like probably to my elbow at least. I got soaked. This one, I fell in and water started gushing in down my back of the waders. And after that, I just kept coming in and I, I was trying to stop in that current, hanging out to my kayak. As you see in the video, it was wild. I flipped the kayak over. I was laughing, you know, I was being stupid. You know, that's how it goes on the river sometimes. You gotta learn one way or the other. Uh, you can't always just be afraid of not trying something. And I kind of like to, I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. You know, try it out, you know, see what happens. All right guys, and last but not least, thank y'all so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate every single one of y'all. Uh, drop a comment below. I really enjoyed talking with you guys. Yeah, let me know guys in the comments below something that you've had total confidence in doing and you failed, but you learned from your mistakes. Still got back on the kayak and you're still back out there. It didn't phase you. You know, you gotta grow from this. You can't just let these things, uh, this fear of, oh, I'm gonna flip, oh, I'm gonna do this. You can't let this hold you back. You just gotta keep going. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you wanna see more stuff like this, not me, more of me falling or flipping, but more, you know, talking about the video, more detail, go into more details of what I was doing. Drop a comment below, drop a like. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for the love. See y'all in the next episode with Manny B.